This is the news in summary with me, Winifred Nicole Hadibat. Well, you were watching highlights of the grand opening of the 11th edition of the International Roots Homecoming Festival, mounted at the Arch 22nd in Banjo. The event, a brainchild of President Jame, is aimed at reconnecting Africans in the diaspora with their ancestral roots. For the first time in the Gambia, the iconic Jamaican dub poet Mutabaruka graced the event with Dr. Julius Gavi, son of the legendary Marcus Gavi, founder of the 19th century Back to Africa movement. Among other high-profile guests, the president's mother, Ajaratu Asombi Bojang, the vice president, Aja Dr. Isatunjai Sedi, the secretary general, minister of presidential affairs and the civil service, Momodu Sabali, and several cabinet ministers attended the event. After three weeks of field visits and meetings across the country through rough terrains and hostile weather conditions, the Gambian leader, His Excellency Sheikh Professor Alhaji Dr. A.J. Jame and entourage held their last meeting in the capital as part of his dialogue with the people tour. The tour aimed to spur collective actions towards national food sufficiency with emphasis on rice production to end the importation of one of the most consumed cereal. The Nigerian High Commission to the Gambia, Her Excellency Madam Esther John Odu, has defended the tactics and strategies of the Nigerian government against the Boko Haram militant group. The Nigerian diplomat was responding to comments that the authorities in Abuja are unable to dismantle a militant group bent on destruction. The National Malaria Control Program under the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare recently commemorated a blatant World Malaria Day under the team Invest in the Future to Defeat Malaria. The celebration, which was held in Basse Upper River Region, was presided over by the governor of the region, Omar Sampo Sisi. The Young Men Christian Association YMCA Wellness and Fitness Center in collaboration with CM recently commemorated World Malaria Day at Sarekunda West Mini Stadium. The celebration was characterized by a five kilometer walk and run from Sting Corner and Denton Bridge respectively to Sarekunda West Mini Stadium where the celebrations proper took place. And in other news, so far millions have followed the developing story on Twitter and many more are likely to follow the coming days and months. The campaign is being spearheaded by the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama. Whilst for Nigerians, it is a painful moment in the history of the country. During these challenging times, Nigerians are also solidifying the bond that binds them with the girls abducted by Boko Haram. A recent study has indicated that 90% of more than 44 million African Americans were originally born by family members who were slaves. Over the years, prominent African Americans have taken the bull by the horn and taken DNA tests to examine their ancestral roots. The DNA is making huge returns as more and more blacks are coming forward to discover where they belong. And in sports, people in the Brazilian city of Sao Paulo are getting more and more worried about their fate. While in the football fraternity, it is a race against time for Sao Paulo's yet-to-be-completed World Cup stadium. The bone of contention is about the colossal sums of money being spent on the stadium, while hundreds live in abject poverty. Well, that was all in this edition of the News in Summary. Thanks for your time and do have a peaceful morning.